Hello everybody, my name is Dylan. I am your host and lead commentator. Last week we did The Devil Wears Prada and I titled that video Straight Guy Watches The Devil Wears Prada and Loves It. Setting off a firestorm of people upset that I would put Straight Guy in the title. How dare you? Dylan, have you no morals? How could you do such a thing? But don't worry guys, I learned my lesson. That's why I titled this video, White Guy Watches Get Out. Mmm, you know what? That's probably gonna offend those people again. Mmm. Well, too late, the video's already up. Uh, Big Dylan, yes, the video's not up. You're currently recording it right now. Shut up, little Dylan! Hey, fun story for you guys. I've actually worked with Jordan Peele. He was cast in a pilot that never got picked up called... Uh, oh god, what was it called? It was about superheroes, S super, super power, super, super, super sidekick. Jordan Peele was on it, this guy was on it, this guy from Office Space also on it, this dude who was on that 70s show for one season was on it, Ike Barinholtz was on it. I never actually got to talk to Jordan Peele, but I did talk to the That 70s Show guy. I made him laugh. He had one of those, like his costume, he had one of those old cell phones. You know, the, the the flip phones with the extending antenna? It would like extend up three inches. Girls that I've slept with know what I'm talking about. So while the director was getting the shot ready, he, people were like making jokes about the phone, how old it was, and I was like, I took it out of his hands and I was like, oh, what good does this do? What good is this little antenna thing? Like, oh, now I can hear you, and he laughed. I delivered the joke a lot better than I just did there, I promise. Now that I think about it, he might have been pity laughing. Fuck you, dude, from that 70s show. I don't need your pity laughs. Big Dylan, all you get is pity laughs. Did I not tell you to shut up, little Dylan? Nobody wants you. Now you sound like my parents. 10.99? All the movies that I do are 4.19. 10, 10? How will I ever be able to get out of debt? Don't pity laugh, please. It just hurts my feelings. I'm not watching in standard definition for eight bucks. I'm gonna drop the extra three dollars for the HD version. 11.54. Tax. <laughs> More like. Ta tuck my. Oh, by the way, I don't know much about this movie. I know it was like a big hit and Jordan Peele did a great job. I just know that a black guy meets the white girl's family and there's some wild shit and then there's one shot where he's like sitting in a chair crying with his eyes real big. So this is mine, huh? Do you not have a GPS? Why is he lost? <laughs> Why don't you just plug it into your GPS? Not today. <laughs> Not me. Wait, is this a horror yeah. film? I know there's like horror elements in this, but is do people just like get straight up murdered? Right, like the dude motherfuckers I'm worried for this guy. Bro. Don't run him over, don't run him over. No. Okay, good. Yo! Hey, yo! Hey. Oh, oh. Put him in the trunk? He's not dead. Just choked out. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Full of water. I almost spit my water out. <laughs> now don't show it. It's gonna be damaged. It's gonna be broken. I mean the deer. Oh, it's gonna be all mangled up. I oh, was it crying? Stay here. Oh, he's gonna put it down. What are you doing? With what? Your foot? Bring a weapon. What are you gonna curb stomp it to death? What are you gonna do, dog? Bring a bat or a wrench. Come on, don't show it. I don't wanna see this. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought there's gonna be blood everywhere. I'm also looking for Jordan Peele I know is an intelligent guy and I know that because you see a lot of their skits on Key and Peele There's always layers to them like before when he was shaving at the beginning of the movie And she was like looking through the glass at what pastry she wants or whatever uh, She was looking for like breakfast so they, they cut between those shots and I was wondering if he was trying to like subtly Pass something on so I'm watching the camel work intently on this because I think he's gonna kind of give you cool foreshadowing or just like secrets just through some of the camera work that he does who he chooses to focus on in the scene it must have fucked you out I'm telling you i do not like the deer that I'm woman's sick. voice sounded familiar who was she from? taking over they're like rats <laughs> see <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a michael scott snort yeah, i'm sorry <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like Michael Scott, but a little bit more smooth, and I think a lot more racist. I guess we had to seal it up. Got some black mold down there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna overanalyze everything. Black molds? What are you saying? What's actually down there? I bet it's not black mold, I bet it's black dudes. Like the guy from the opening scene, I bet he's down there, chained up. Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I just, I couldn't bear to let them go. Couldn't Boy, bear to let them go? Why didn't you, that's a weird way to say it. I couldn't bear to let them go? <laughs> Why would you say I wanted to offer them another position? Because I admire their work ethic. That, mm, mm, throw me off here. Hypnosis. She developed a method, and I'm telling you, it works like a charm. Ah! Uh, I'm good, actually. Mm, good call. Rose's grandfather's. Is this, is this woman? Okay, I, uh, this is the horrible scream shot. That is called a scream shot? Party. This, is this woman? Is she in on it? And what is she in on? What is the, what is the rub? I'm an 80-year-old man. What is the rub? We keep them close to uh, us. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, Georgina. Oh, look at that face! Look at that face! She's confused. She's not in on it. Must be very Sup, fam? Is that McKelly Culkin? Well, I don't think so. I got so. it. You an MMA fan? What? Hey, Jeremy, why don't we uh, let someone else have the floor for a second? Okay, um, mm, mm. this is very, very interesting. They're like trying to hush him up. He's like, you into MMA? And they're like, whoa, whoa, dude. You should just zip it. No pussyfooting around, you'd be a fucking beast. I think those drugs really fucked up Michaeli Culkin's head, and now he's weird. Look at him. Oh, don't have sex. Please don't have sex, because something weird's gonna happen. There's gonna be like cameras in here or something. I thought he was going to find a camera in there. Okay, I've seen that. I've seen that in a meme or something. I haven't seen that. Man, this... Man! The fuck is up? Do you realize how dangerous smoking is? Is this the scene? Is this the scene where he's in the chair crying? Ding, ding, ding. She's going to tap it against... Like, it's like a hypnosis thing. She's gonna tap it on the, the edge of her glass. They had a close-up of it before, and it, the dude was like looking at it like he was realizing something. The sound, you can hear the sound of the spoon. See, they would cut that out of the movie if that wasn't intentional. But Jordan's keeping that sound in the, the movie because it's substantial, it has meaning, it has an effect. You can hear the spoon scraping against the edge of the teacup. Or the bottom of it. Yeah, there's the close-up. She's gonna tap it at one point. Uh, this is like some psychology shit. I love psychology. Bro, get out of this situation. Man, she's in your head. You gotta leave. Bro. Yo, this is so sketch. Bitch. No. Sink. This is an awesome shot. Now you're in the sunken place. Wait, now he's fine? I'm so confused now. She trapped him someplace. I think she's gonna be able to do something and like put him back into that place. Cause she wouldn't let him go if she had him. Is she talking to herself? Yeah, he's gonna put the camera up, take pictures of her, and then she's gonna turn and look at him. Yup, it's gonna be a really creepy thing. She's gonna turn and look at him and stare at him. You know what? Know it. Sorry about last night. My exercise. I didn't mean to scare you. You mean when you sprinted past him? That's your exercise. You just exercise by just blowing past people with that angry look and your hands like this. Who runs like this anyways? I'm pretty sure he was doing the, like the chop run. Bro, put him in the fists, you weirdo. Yeah. See, mm. at this point, dude has to realize the white family put. These two crazy people in charge of taking care of the parents? Really? You're gonna buy that story? That's not, no. You wouldn't put crazy people in charge of the people you care about most. Dude, you gotta go. Leave, man. Oh, man. It begins. What the fuck? Is it the president coming? Why are there a line of black cars? Are you ready for this? Wait, 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 neither of them are weirded out by that? 
It's funereal. And they're wearing black. Everyone's wearing black. Okay, not everyone. This dumb bitch here didn't get the memo. Oh, look, oh, you green. old farts! Gordon black. And this is Chris. We're black. Chris, this is oh, thank you. You too, man. You, you know uh, what I think? I think this. The girl. You can't. You can't see it right now. But the girl. The girlfriend. I think she lures black guys into her family, and then her mom hypnotizes them, and then. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they do with them. Cause she wasn't able to lure the woman in. Probably. I don't know. You ever play golf? How handsome is he? <laughs> oh, you got a shot with the, the milf. Oh, ah, hey, baby girl. Oh, okay. feel up his muscles. Later, you can feel on his dick. Oh, not <laughs> He's bad. so uncomfortable. Bro, get it. She's got, like, a lot of money. Hey, man, put your morals aside and get that bang. Hey, Nielsen, is it true? You got the big dick? Is it better? Wow. Oh, wow, she really went there. I was fucking around. She's going there with Wow. Oh. That was eerie, wasn't it? Oh my god, this is so well directed. Through the lens of the camera, the dude points and they all turn in unison. It's awesome. Man, this movie is sanitary. I'm trying to make sanitary a thing, it's like synonymous with cool. It's san it's sanitary, bro. It's You'll, st you'll start saying it, don't worry. Oh, oh hey, bro! It's, is that Dave Chappelle? Mm, woman in the corner there in red. The woman who didn't get the memo. <sighs> Wait, is that, is that Dave Chappelle? Yes, of course it is. That's not Dave Chappelle, is it? <laughs> I always thought this was Dave Chappelle. I mean, he does kind of look younger than Dave Chappelle is, and Dave Chappelle's a little bit thicker now. It looks like a young Dave Chappelle though, doesn't it? Okay, you know what? I just gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. Get out cast. Let's see here. Catherine Keener, the psychologist. Was she in Step Brothers? Was that what it was? Oh, the 40-year-old virgin. That's where she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's so ironic? I was talking about how the dude reminded me of Steve Carell with that snort laugh before. Lakeith Stanfields. Okay, that's definitely not Dave Chappelle. And that is also not McKelly Culkin, okay. They're impressed. So he wasn't like that before. They dressed him up. Some, that's weird. You need to go. It's too late already though. He already was hypnotized. Oh, this guy's familiar too. Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. Shit ain't fair, man. Oh, you got that right. Shit ain't fair. I have a feeling it's something with the eyes. I feel like everyone's getting hypnotized through the eyes or something. I don't know. I'm still not sure what all this means. I don't know if they're hypnotizing groups of people, why they are. There's a dude that got kidnapped in the beginning of the movie. The black molds in the basements. There's so much. I don't know what the move is here. What are they doing? <laughs> keeps on charging his phone. Oh, his phone's dead. Oh my God. I got hypnotized last night. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Look, they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. They have you fucking barking like a dog. Do you think they saw that shit coming? Hell no. He's actually, I mean, he's going for comedy, but he's making great points. Like you don't see it coming. Are you not scared? You've been hypnotized before. You're more likely to get hypnotized again with whatever trigger she wants. I'm gonna just suck a little dick, maybe jiggle some balls and yeah, shit. okay, okay. You need to chill, dog. You're trying to get me to monetize that. If there's too many white people, I get nervous, you know? Oh, she's breaking. Oh! <gasps> oh! What is happening? Hold on, my battery's dying. I gotta change my battery real quick. All right, you good? You good? What's your deal? <laughs> At this point, this dude's had to have seen enough. Uh, to go. Don't stay. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. Your friend just told you pe people are getting hypnotized. You got hypnotized yourself. You should believe it. Man, you're stupid. At this point, if you don't leave, I hope you end up 
what in whatever sex slave whatever you know what how you know how i think this movie's gonna end he's gonna end up being a servant and the girl's gonna bring another dude back and this is gonna be the same thing you want to go on a tour mm, that's my guess do you find the being african american disadvantage in the modern world <laughs> it's a tough one <laughs> dude is so michael scott he's like whoa in the modern world Whoa! Oh! This movie should be called Michael Scott Meets Black Person. It's a tough one. A tough one. It become my sanctuary. Oh, he's breaking! Bro, this is so messed up. Yo, chill, man. Chill, chill, man. Chill, chill, man. Oh, it's not random. You don't. Know, <laughs> I, like before I was like if you don't leave after that you deserve whatever you get but after that you double deserve it come put put the pieces together bro party back on track how about sparklers and bingo if we're gonna go on a walk you know you need to you go sure? on a ride back to town I just need to go please please go you want to go mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Why yeah. are you giving him attitude? Your weird ass family is like scaring him away. No, she's in on it. She's in on it. It's... What the f- <gasps> They're bidding on him. They're not playing bingo. They couldn't do this unless the girl said, let's go for a walk. Because if he had come along, they would have just been playing bingo. So she has to be in on it. They're selling. They're selling black people. I mean, that's what this movie's about. Don't hug him. I don't trust you. I don't trust this bitch. You're all I've got. No, don't be saying that, man. I'm a... I have no idea how this movie's gonna end anymore. I thought the family was gonna like brainwash him and make him one of their slaves, I guess. But the blind guy bit on him. Why? Who's still here? Why is he still here? Don't. What are you? No! Don't go in. They're gonna trap. They're gonna close the door on you, you dumbass. <gasps> He's gonna find a picture with her, of her with the black guy. She said that she's never been with the black guy before, and it's gonna be a lie. And he's gonna find out she's being duplicitous. Right? Right? Bets? Bets? Oh! That's the guy that was chopping wood! I knew I didn't trust you. Oh! This is so fucked up. I knew it! Rose? I'm looking. No, you're not! Why is she about to cry? Even She's a sorry. faker. No, jeez! Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? What is happening? Why? She's in on it! Do anything. Where are those keys, Rose? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? Yeah. Yep, yep. Alright, so what? What? We got a one on one? Michaeli Culkin versus this dude? Fucking called that shit a long time ago. Tap, tap, tap. He's gone. Oh. Are they gonna track him down too? Like, th th these are loose ends. You gotta tie the loose ends up, right? You know what? I'm changing my prediction for how this movie's gonna end. I think this dude's gotta get out because there there's that loose end. His friend knows, and his friend knows too much. So either they're gonna have to snuff out his friend or he's gonna have to break out by himself, and then the cops are gonna come and tear down whatever this scheme is, the slavery scheme. No, no, she's in your head. Ooh, did you see that? The vein in his head starts pulsating. That's brilliant. Look, what I'm about to tell you gonna sound crazy. I believe they've been abducting black people, making it work for them as sex slaves and shit. Oh, she's buying it? Is she one of them? Is she like an insider? Oh! 
and making them slaves or sex slaves, not just regular slaves, but sex slaves and shit. Are they gonna laugh them off? Don't laugh them off. <laughs> Fuck you. I knew it. It's the sex thing. He just, you should have just said slave. He shouldn't have said sex slave. You haven't seen him? Oh, he never came back here. Oh my God. Look, look, look. <laughs> that sounded like a sex sound. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck me harder. She's a genius. <laughs> She's a genius. I love that, man. I love how the character is just comedic. Yeah. For phase three. <gasps> They're gonna perform surgery on him. He's a neurosurgeon. I thought it was just the hypnotism. The transplantation. Brain connected to your nervous system needs to stay put. I'll control the motor functions, so I'll be me. I'll control the motor functions? The dude is wearing one of those hospital shirts. Is he? Oh. They attach part of his brain to his brain. <laughs> oh, I thought they just like removed something from his brain and like implanted something to make him more obedient. But I, I think they literally locked the brains together. Is there a key in there? Oh, what? Nah, he's loose. I guarantee you he's loose. He found something. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, mm -mm, he's free. You ain't getting him, not today. <laughs> he just threw his scalp into this bucket. Oh, he's awake. He's awake and he's free. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One more to the back of the head. Yeah, do it. Oh, that's how he did it. How did he get into his ears? Oh, I guess he could have leaned. Yeah, yeah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, he dead. He's dead for sure. R.I.P. Michaela Culkin. Tough break, dude. Oh, it's on fire now. Yep. He just... He killed him. Yeah. Why don't you just take the bocce ball and use those as weapons? Instead, he ripped a goddamn deer head off of the wall and rammed it into his throat. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just use the... You're clearly stronger than him. Just beat him with the bocce balls. Why did you... Can you just... Can you imagine if that plan didn't work? Dude just walking down the hallway with this giant deer head. Like, oh yeah, I need a weapon. So I chose this. That was the best thing that you had in the room. It was a giant deer head. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill everybody in this family? Kill this, kill the one that's uh, hypnotizing him. That's the move. Oh, hello! Hello, bitch! Oh yeah, your husband and your son are dead. <laughs> you are so fucked. Steve Carell's gonna be pissed, but you gotta kill her. I get it makes a cool action scene, but if I was the dude, I would have just went in with fists right away. I mean, you're never supposed to hit a woman, but if she's trying to turn you into a slave, then I think it's okay. But he could have gotten out of this without a major injury. Instead, he waits for her to make a move and she grabs a weapon. Why didn't you just go attack her? You could have overpowered her without any injuries. That's vicious, dude. Where's the daughter at? No, 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 no. Oh, Michaela Culkin's still alive? Hey, is Michaela Culkin technically home alone? Because the rest of his family's dead? Just ruined my own childhood there. Now I can never watch Home Alone the same way again. No, you gotta take the daughter down first. <laughs> you use Bing? You deserve to die. Who doesn't use Google? How's she gonna die? What if he just came from the ceiling and just like stabbed her or just like power punched like as he was falling from the top? You're not even gonna kill her? I'm sorry sir, can you repeat that? I mean, <gasps> That's the girl! I mean, he <laughs> oh no, I thought the woman on the phone was uh, her. <laughs> she dead. She dead for sure. <laughs> Hey, bitch, your whole family's dead. Suck on that. What's she gonna do, sharpshooter? Why are you running down the road? Go into the woods where there's cover. Man, you deserve to die. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. He's gonna kill her. Man, you can go fuck yourself in hell, bitch. See ya. Man, white people are the worst. Wait a second. Oh my god, I'm white. I, 
love you. Oh, he's gonna choke her out. Oh, the cop. If the cop comes back and like shoots him for attacking the white girl, that's that'd be so Jordan Peele. I help me. He's gonna get shot. Oh, whoa! What? Oh, I'm really worried for a final twist. No, just a little joke, a little humor. Told you not to bang a white girl, or something. I mean, I told you not to go in the house. Oh, that was close. <laughs> They're not gonna show it. They're not gonna show it, but I'm fascinated. What's the move? Hold on, let's see if there's anything else. Okay. Fantastic movie. What's the move now, though? What do you do? Do you call the cops and be like, I murdered like four people and there was a brainwash scheme. I murdered people, but it was self-defense. Or do you just not say anything? I don't know. I don't know what the move is here. Cause who would believe that? They've been like brainwashing black people. I think you gotta call the cops and just tell the truth and hope they believe it. But at the same time, if they don't believe it, you murdered an entire family. <laughs> so yeah, that's sketch. Get out too. And it's inside of a prison and he's got to get out of the prison. It's it's also a prison break. It's, he meets the prison break guys and it's a crossover. It's get out to crossover with prison break. I'm telling you, I'm creating content here. Jordan Peele, if you want to hit me up, I'll help write that shit. This movie was fantastic. Honestly, when I saw I had to pay like 11.50 when I normally pay 4.19, I was a little bit disappointed, but it was worth it. Absolutely. It was incredibly well directed. It got rave reviews. So I knew it was well done. I kind of thought they were going to go for a twist at the end and they were going to I don't know. Jordan Peele f feels like the kind of person who was would kind of give like a grim ending. But for the most part, it's a happy ending. I'm thoroughly satisfied with the plot. That was a great experience. That was a great movie. And I like how they brought in the comic relief. It's hard to blend a horror and like as much comedy as they had, the horror and comedy together. And I think it was great how they did it through one character who wasn't present at the scene, but was like a concerned friend searching for him. I think that worked really, really well. It's hard to mix horror and comedy and not like a grotesque like, oh my god, look at his intestines. They are in the ceiling fan now, you know? Like it really wasn't dark comedy that they hit and I'm impressed by that. Toes, toe, ooh, the toes are glowing. Every time after I finish a movie, I look at my toes and they tell the story. If it's a bad movie, my toes look really sad and morose and uh, like a little bit discolored. But good movies, my toes look fantastic. I could be a toe model. God, you are some good looking toes today. Oh, all right, next week. Oh, actually, next week there's a new movie. Uh, Sierra Burgess. There's a movie called Sierra Burgess. Something, something, something. I really don't know much about it besides the main character's name. But it's a new Netflix release and it's coming out next week. So I'm going to watch that. I don't even want to watch the trailer. I kind of want to go in completely blind. So that'll be next week. Don't recommend. I don't want to do recommendations. I know people love to recommend stuff. But I'm going to delete recommendations because the comment section just gets flooded with recommendations. And then I lose all sense of community with you guys. I like knowing which jokes you liked. What you thought about my thoughts on the movie. What you thought about the movie by itself. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to keep saying this as more and more people come in, but just, yeah, don't recommend because if you recommend, I'm just going to delete your comment. It seems a little bit harsh to delete comments, I know, but if other people see a bunch of other people recommending stuff, then they're going to recommend too. So it's like I have to nip it in the bud. Speaking of new Netflix releases, there is one I did a few weeks ago that was a really good video. And then on the bottom there is another series on my channel that I'm really enjoying. I, ooh, I have the best outro for this video. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. This video is over, so get out. I'm just too good at this. I'm too good at YouTube. I don't know, man.